Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia and Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And today, we're going to be making simple, smooth, and functional title swipes and little title sequences inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, whether you're working on a video for social media or an explainer video or really any other kind of video that needs a title sequence, the way that I'm going to show you guys how to do it today is going to look more difficult than it actually is to achieve inside of Adobe After Effects. We're going to be parenting all of our text layers and background to a null object and then using that null object to kind of move around in our composition. And it looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. So good news for you. Easy tutorial for me to teach today. It's gonna to be really fun all around. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, the thumbs up button, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Open up Adobe After Effects, because we're getting started right now. All right, After Effects is open, and the first thing we're gonna do is create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 23976 frames per second at 15 seconds long. You guys can make this however long you want, but for this tutorial, that's what we're gonna do. And of course, we're gonna name our composition Title Swipes. Click OK. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is find a cool background for your composition. You guys could obviously grab it off of Google Images or whatever, but I'm going to suggest using Envato Elements because they have a library of tens of thousands of amazing different things. And because I'm partnered with them on this channel, you, yes, you get 70% off your first month subscription. Down in the description below, you will find a Linktree link which will take you to my Envato Elements landing page. There's a custom video that I made. Go watch the video and also sign up for Envato Elements because it's amazing. Let's grab some textures from Envato Elements. I just went ahead and typed in paper background under the graphics search function thing. And I've gone ahead and downloaded these 30 paper crumpled backgrounds for me to use during this tutorial. So I'm going to grab one of those images now. Let's just pick one at random, background 12. Cool, let's throw that under still images, keeping everything nice and organized and just drop that background down into our composition. And you could already see if I go to scale this that it is bigger than the composition, which is exactly what we want, which is another reason why you should use Envato Elements because everything is super high quality and the stuff you're gonna get on Google image search is like probably really low res and then it's gonna look like crap. But if you have high res assets, it's gonna look high res. <laughs> 200 IQ. Okay, so what we're gonna do is scale up our background significantly larger than our composition area. If I zoom out here, you can see it's much, much larger. And that's because we're going to use a null object to move around this background image and we need kind of bleed on the top and all the sides. So once you've gone ahead and done that, the next thing you're gonna do is add in some text. Now I've already, you know, kind of figured out the font that I want. It is called Caveat Regular. It's some nice little like handwriting text elements right there. I'm going to center my anchor point. For you guys, it's Control, Alt, and Home. For me, it's Alt, C, because I said another shortcut. And I'm going to simply align it to the center of my composition. And now with my text in place and my background in place, I'm going to come up to Layer, New, Null Object. We're going to put this at the very top of our hierarchy. We're going to click on the red square and label it with a different color. And we're going to hit enter and call this motion control. And now we will pair our background image and our text to that motion control layer. Click on that layer, hit P on the keyboard for position. And now we can start moving the null object position around our composition, thus moving everything all at once. So what I will do is I will set a position keyframe on that null object. Go over 10 keyframes by hitting shift control and the right arrow set another position keyframe and then just move this off to the side just so that my text is kind of clearing over on the left hand side there and you can see we have a little bit of room left here but you don't have to go all the way just so your text is now clear and then what you'll do is add some different text here wow center your anchor point align the entire thing to the center and then once you've done that stick it underneath your motion control, and then tag that new text to your motion control, thus moving it from one side to another. Now you can see it's kind of sticking out over here. So we'll just move our second keyframe farther over to the left and then kind of recenter and realign this text here. So now it's not sticking out on the sides and we have some nice little movement. So as you can see, what we're doing is we're using this null object to move the camera. Okay, there's not actually a 3D camera in our composition, but we're using the null object to move our camera around our composition in various ways. You guys can do whatever you want. You can go right, left, up, down. It doesn't matter. Pick a direction. You can go diagonal if you want. Get crazy with it. But for now, we're just gonna go down. Uh, so it swipes over to our next text, and then we're just gonna set another position keyframe, go over 10 keyframes, and then we're gonna push the camera down. Whoop, we're gonna push the camera down. There we go. And of course, you guessed it, more text goes here. 
And you're not gonna put more text goes here. You're gonna put whatever text you want to go in your composition. We are aligning it with the center every time, sticking it underneath our motion control, and then tagging that to the motion control layer so that it moves everything all at once. And we will do one final one, just in case you haven't gotten the concept by now. And we'll go back over to the right here. And then we're going to end on some other text. Wow, really brilliant stuff here at Learn How to Edit Stuff. But the concept is the cool part. Okay, so we're gonna tag that to our motion control. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if I play this, you will see that our null object is now sliding to different text titles in our composition. And it looks extremely robotic right now, but we're gonna fix that by simply clicking on position, hitting F9 on your keyboard, which will easy ease all of the keyframes, which will make that motion just a little bit smoother. And if you wanna take it one step further and follow your old pal, Nadi and Sands, you can buy, I think it's like 30 bucks. It's called Flow on aescripts.com. Basically, it's a plug inside of After Effects that you can pick a bunch of preset motion curves. And I'm gonna click on this one right here and uh, highlight the keyframes that you want to apply. Click apply. And then if you go in here to your keyframe editor, you can see that it is automatically applying those curves. And now it's kind of like whipping into place. So I'm going to use flow to apply this curve to all of my keyframes and make it a little bit more dynamic. But you guys can also do that in the keyframe graph editor yourself. And this is looking much better than it did before. Let's take it one step further, highlight all of our layers, and then turn on motion blur inside of our composition so that when this text actually moves, the blur is making it look a little bit nicer. And to top it all off, the one last thing that I want to do is add some camera shake to this whole thing, because that's really going to give it a little bit more realism and a little bit more impressiveness, and you don't have to do very much at all. So what I will do is I will add an adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer to my scene. I'm going to use the Red Giant Universe Camera Shake, which you guys probably don't have. I'm gonna show you both ways. If you have it, awesome. If you don't have it, I still got answers for you. So I'm gonna use the Red Giant Universe Camera Shake. I'm going to turn the master amount down to 40. And now I will play this. And it's giving it some nice little like side to side shake. It looks a lot like more fluid and kind of organic. And it just looks nicer at the end of the day. Like I said, this is not technically hard to achieve, but it does look technically kind of awesome when you put it all together. It's very simple, but it's very effective. Okay, and if you guys don't have Red Giant Universe Camera Shake, that's okay. Never fear, Naughty and Sans is here. I'm gonna delete that off of here and I'm going to add onto our adjustment layer a wiggle position onto our adjustment layer and I'm going to turn the wiggle amount down to, I don't know, 25. It does the job. It's a little bit more robotic than the Universe Camera Shake plugin, but it comes free inside of After Effects and it looks pretty decent. So we have just made a very uh, seemingly kind of complicated, but yet simple and effective title swipe sequence in Adobe After Effects using a null object to get us through our scenes. And the reason why I'm using a null object is because it allows me to then do some additional animation on my titles if I wanted to. And I'm not kind of locked into the position data of our text layers because the null object is doing all of the heavy lifting. So what I mean by that is if I wanted to set a position keyframe down here for my text, and then set another position keyframe over here for my text and then push this down. I am now animating the text up while simultaneously animating my composition over and I'm allowed to use more than one position set of parameters because my null object is doing most of the heavy lifting inside of my composition. I hope that that makes sense. Uh, it makes sense to me. Basically, you're able to do double the animation because you're using a null object. And that's it guys, you can customize this to your heart's content. Again, you can go up, down, left, right, diagonal, whatever you guys wanna do to make your title sequence even cooler than the one that we did today for this tutorial. I'm just trying to teach you guys the fundamentals and the basics, and then you take that knowledge and you run with it. You go, oh, thanks, Nadi and Zan. I got the large coffee today, we're, we're on one, guys. So as a recap, you are going to go to the Linktree link in the video description below and you're going to sign up for Invato Elements, giving you 70% off your first month subscription from your boy Nadi and Sands, where you can download tens of thousands of high quality assets for you to make your little title sequence, grab some paper textures, grab whatever texture you want, throw it in After Effects, scale it up way bigger than your composition, and then you're gonna add in your text and then parent it to a null object and then use that null object to move the camera around your composition to all various different titles and then you're gonna turn on motion 
motion blur and you're going to add some camera shake to really pull it all together at the end. All in all, this should take you about 15, 20 minutes to get something that looks really good. And again, it looks technically harder than it actually is to achieve, especially when you're listening to your old pal Naughty and Sans from Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do that down below. Click the subscribe button, click the thumbs up button, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you learned anything new today. I mean, this is a very simple tutorial, but it, it really is effective. It really is. Also in the link tree, link below, you will find a uh, free trial to Epidemic Sound, obviously in Vato Elements, all of my social media accounts, go follow me, do all the stuff on YouTube, help the algorithm, help me. I'm gonna go finish my coffee, which is probably not a great idea. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.